so explain to, to, to me and to the viewers why copper is so central to uh, the EV world, the world of greener energy, to getting to the Paris Climate Accord numbers. Why is it so important? Yeah, because we're going to rely upon electricity to create our transportation, heat our houses, and you know, propel industrial activities, copper is the single best conductor of electricity um, known to physics as well as the periodic table. So if we're going to electrify the world and decarbonize that way, we absolutely need copper to do it. So another way to say it, copper becomes the strategically most important commodity um, taking over that role from oil. And the similarities with oil are, are striking. And it's very important to the EVs as well as to the overall power grid. So are there... Well, let's let's get the simple question here. Where are prices now per ton, and where do you see them trending over the next six to eight years? Well, right now they're trading around you know ninety three hundred dollars a ton. You know, it's a big run up in the last couple of, of days, and I think you've got the reflation trade being put back on as we see it across the board in the commodity complex. Um, now, when we think about where how this plays out. The real tightness is likely to happen over the next 12 to 18 months. You know, you have the rebound in economic activity with the vaccine rollout and, you know, the post-COVID era. You have no inventories. You can't accommodate that type of demand increase. The real problems start around 2024, 2025, when we have all that green capex spending begin to start to accelerate. Um, so in terms of thinking about, you know, the upside, we see it moving into that eleven dollars to $12,000 a ton range over the next 12 to 24 months. But we see it when we start talking your point of, you know, five years out plus, we're seeing it moving up to around 15000 The all-time high in real terms was 1968 at $14,000 a ton. A, you know, an environment similar to today in the sense that you had LBJ roll out the Great Society and we have the same type of spending programs going on in the current environment. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.